you are welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to reproduce this figure that is displayed on your screen in first angle projection now like i always tell you if you are asked to draw in first angle projection what you should do is for you to draw your axis your orthographic what axis now what i'll do i'll come here and i'm going to draw my vertical line this way right and i'll also draw my horizontal line this way i'll draw my horizontal line this way you can see that and i'll pick a point right and i'm going to measure five upward five downward and five to the left or to the right or any distance of your choice i like using smaller distance should i place it at this point i'm going to mark um, up down left and right you can see that and i will take my set square I'll draw a line that will pass through those points this way and also draw another line that will pass through this point this way and I'll come here I'll do the same thing this way and I'll come here I'll do the same thing this way you can see that now they are meeting at this point at this point and at this point those points i mark at that is forming 90 degree with each other will be where i will start my measurement from now the thing you look at is we're told to draw in first angle projection right looking at this side so looking at this side means this will be our elevation and elevation whenever you are drawing in first angle projection should be at the second quadrant this is the first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and what fourth quadrant so the elevation should be at this quadrant so the question you ask is what will i see when i'm looking at this side of what of um my block diagram here now i'm going to show you what we are going to see right so just stay tuned and watch So this is what we have. I'll be seeing here, which is here, right? If this is um, A, this is A here, so this will be what? A, right? And I'll see other side too, which is other side too. So this is what we have here. So this is what we call this the elevation. We know that from here to here in the diagram, it's given to be 40, right? From here to the diagram is given to be what? Um, 30. Then from here to here, given to be what? 15. Right? So and so on and so forth. So let's just see how that goes. So I'll now come here. I'll produce this and I'll place it here. So if I come to that point, from here to here, I'll put it from here to here, and that is what? 40. So I'm going to measure the distance of 40 as shown in the diagram. That is 40. Right? And from here to here is given as what 30. So I'm going to measure the diagram. 30. From 0 to 3. 30. Right, and I'm going to uh, thicken it. You can see that, and um, I'll come here also. I'll take this up. Then I'll close it up. Sorry. 
You see that? And I'll also close here up too. You see that and similarly from here to here it's giving us 20 as you can see in the diagram right so that from here to here is given to be what 20 so we're going to measure 20 from this point it's 20 then from here to here it's from here to here and that's giving us what 15 right so we're going to measure 15 which is 15 here so with the help of my instrument you can easily just project that upward this way now do this this way and now close it up too right and that is this point you see here and similarly from here to here it's giving us from here to here right and that is what that is 10 Right, so I'll measure ten. This is the point. I'm going to draw my vertical line down. But it will be what hidden line. This is what we have. That is the elevation. Now the next thing is we are drawing should be the plan. In first angle projection, the plan is always under what the elevation. So I will do this. I'm going to project this upward, all the edges. All right. So I'll project this edge here. I'll take it up. That is what I'm going to have. When you're looking from the top, what will you see? And this is what you're going to see. So this is the plan here that we have. You see here, which is here. You see here, which is here. Then this point you see is this point here. Looking from the top, right? So I'm going to draw this plan below this elevation here. So first of all, um, they have the same length, so I'll just draw the same length the way we have it here. I'll draw a faint line first. So if from here to here. This is what we have there right so what will be the entire height the entire height will now be 50 that is from here to here right this is the height here talking about the um elevation so I'll measure 50 upward from 0 to 5 is 50 I'm going to close it up this way. What am I trying to do? I'm replicating this here. Then I will take my set square and I'll bring all this down. So this will assist you, give you direction on what and what you have to do. Now the next thing is from here to here will be from here to here right and that is 10 10 so I'll take my set square and I'll measure 10 to this level right and at the base here right I'm going to measure um, 15 right I'll measure from here to here that is I'm uh, given to be 10 also all together, so I'll measure 10 here. So there is a point. That's from here to here. So I'll just close it up this way. Can see that? And I'll close it up this way. And then I'll close it up this way.
in can see that now the next thing is if from here to is 10 from here to is also what 10 so i'm gonna get a 10 here i'll just move it to this point this is this line here and i'll move it to this point too so I see that so this is what we have what i have here i just replicate it only what replicate it here so the next thing i'll be doing will be the end view looking at it from this side so looking at the other side this is what we are going to be having So this is what we are going to be seeing, looking at it from this side, right? So we are going to replicate this again, first quadrant. So how will you do that? You place your first square this way, and you draw your 45 degree. Then you project all these points, and you complete this. This to this faint line. And this will be the highest point here. So I'm going to now project all those points upward. All these imaginary lines will guide you on how you will position your drawing to so this come here if you look at it now this two line right that three six is this here so I'll just close that place up this one here I'm actually producing this draw what I have here. So this also and I'll draw the physical line that we have. So we have here, right? We have um, successfully reproduced the figure in orthographic production, right? Where this is the front elevation, this is the plan, and this is the end view. So this is how you have to draw. I'm only drawing this to show you what you're going to see when you're looking at it at different direction. So. If you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and also share the video. Thanks for watching.